Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a big video for you today, okay? We're going to be testing out the 6 star rank 5 Ascended Cosmic Ghost Strider with my normal mastery setup and no boosts, okay? And then we're going to be comparing that to just the rank 5 CGR not Ascended. So we're going to be doing some comparisons in stuff like Grandmaster's Gauntlet, the 9.5 million health pool Captain America CCP testing map boss thing and then we're also going to be doing a little bit of a like half Realm of Legends run. So uh, yeah, buckle up, press that like button and I hope you enjoy. CGR's PI as well as his attack and health pool look absolutely insane now. If you want to see what he looks like fully boosted, there you go. But yeah, there's not going to be any boosts in this uh, video. Here we are at the Grandmaster's Gauntlet Terax fight. Now this fight kind of demands you to do it fast when using CGR, and normally I would recommend using boosts here. But we're not going to do that, we're not going to show any boosted gameplay at all. We're just going to show CGR here at his base, not ascended. We're going to see how well he does, how fast he can uh, take down this Terax fight. And I mean, he's not doing a bad job there, maybe I shouldn't have ended with a light attack there. But it's okay, I think it's around the same speed that I would have gotten anyway. And yeah, I think we missed a crit, we probably could have finished it off there. A few more hits and there we go. 7% health in about 30 seconds, that is not too bad at all. But yeah, now we're gonna see how the Ascended CGR does. Same team, same masteries, no boosts, alright? I wanna keep clarifying that, this is unboosted gameplay, and you're gonna see it, the, you know, this, uh, <laughs> this video escalate into some crazy stuff. I just wanna keep reiterating that, this is my normal mastery setup, and there are no boosts going on, okay? Uh, <laughs> and he's doing a pretty good job, we got 40k mediums here, get that second special 2 off, we are not doing too shabby at all. Our health is already looking a lot better than it did before, and yeah, what was that, 30% health and then 29 seconds, which, I mean, hey, I think the other CGR could have done it in 29 seconds, but that's fine. Now the next fight in the gauntlet is Vision, and I'm going to be taking a bit of a different approach here. So the Ascended CGR is going to be using the basic Special 2 rotation, while the non-Ascended CGR is going to be using the 6 Aptitude rotation, which, you know, is a longer rotation. But I think the uh, Ascended CGR can afford to just go for, uh, you know, Special 2s in this fight even though this vision has a uh, surging vengeance and I think aspect of death on a special three, we're able to finish that off rather quickly. Whereas I believe the rank five CGR, if you're not boosting, you're still really gonna need to build up that damage with the fury from the six aptitude rotation. So this is kind of a scenario where having more power on your CGR will enable you to expand the places where you're able to use the special 2 rotation instead of having to resort to the 6 aptitudes. So yeah, while there is a pretty significant damage increase from ascending Cosmic Ghost Rider, I do believe that just the fact that you can increase your reach with the special 2 cycles without having to resort to other rotations, I think that is probably the most beneficial thing about ascending Cosmic Ghost Rider. You know, the fact that you'll be able to deal more damage and then not have to use a longer rotation to handle some fights, you know? So now I'm going to be showing another one-to-one -one comparison in the Realm of Legends. We're going to be seeing which CGR can get to the Vision and kill him first, basically. Um, in a situation where they have the exact same synergy team and all that stuff. Basically, I, what I believe to be the best synergy team for uh, speedrunning this content to like farm revives um, and also for like sustainability and stuff. So we have a bit of, you know, a bit of stuff in there to uh, increase our damage and just uh, also keep us alive. Um, but we're not going to be doing a full run, we're just going to be going and killing Vision. We're going to see who's there first. So far, Ascended already has a little bit of a lead. Um, and we're going to see how much of a gap there is. But this is to demonstrate that this isn't really the case where you're going to be seeing uh, a drastic improvement in CGR's uh, performance when it comes to Ascending him. 
what you're really going to see is, you know, the, that you're going to be able to get away with using special two cycles on bigger health pools than you used to, which I think is a huge deal. So yeah, I'm going to let this play out and then I'll be back when it concludes to kind of talk more about the results. So you can see where we are now, basically all the fights, like, they're, they're both totally tied at this point. <laughs> um, because all the fights, they're ending the exact same way that they normally do. Um, they're all ending with the second special two. So, this is kind of the situation where it might be a slight improvement for something like this, and maybe I could have played a little bit better with the Ascended CGI, I probably made a few mistakes. Um, but like when a fight is gonna end the same way, it doesn't really matter if you get that 20%, 20-ish percent extra attack, right? But it, at the bigger the health pool gets, like, the better it is for the Ascended CGR, purely because you're able to get away with special 2s here. So I want you to watch this special 2, and I want you to see the crits, okay? Every hit is gonna crit, right? And then it still doesn't kill him. Okay, we gotta do one more hit. Now I want you to take this into consideration because now we're going to test the Ascended CGR on this exact same fight. Okay, same synergy team, no boosts. Okay, same masteries, all that stuff. And I just want you to see the special two. The fight time doesn't matter because I made a mistake in the last clip, so I can't really compare these two, but. I just want you to see the special 2 damage here, okay, and we even miss a crit on the third hit, doesn't matter, still kills that uh, Star-Lord with about 200,000 health, okay, so it just increases his reach, okay, and it gets better the bigger the health pools are, so now we're gonna test it on about 600,000 health, okay, and you're gonna see that they pretty much end the same way, now the Ascended CGR, I did land the stand-up intercept, so he is gonna be a little bit ahead of me, but just pay attention to how the fights end, okay, because they're both going to end with the second special two. And they pretty much end at the same time too, like the Ascended CGR always has like a few seconds ahead of the non-Ascended CGR, uh, just in like a one-to-one -one comparison. Um, but yeah, when they're doing different cycles and stuff, that's what is, when it's important, like the uh, Gauntlet Vision fight earlier. So now we're going to test, you know, super high-end damage, both CGRs using the 6 aptitude stacking rotation, alright? Guides are in the description if you want to learn how to do all this stuff. 
but this is basically CGR's highest damage rotation, so we're going to be comparing their high-end damage, okay, and not just how fast they do the fight, but I want to compare the damage numbers themselves, okay, and this rotation is massive overkill, but on this fight, this Captain America has 9.5 million health, and there are no damage caps, no nodes or anything, so you're able to see CGR's maximum potential here, and I just kind of want you to look at these numbers, okay, because the Ascended CGR is definitely hitting harder, <laughs> right? But this is still like a one-to-one -one comparison. Now, if I was to say test out both CGRs against a 1 million health pool opponent and I had the non-ascended CGR use the 6 aptitude rotation, which is, you know, around where I would start using that rotation, and then I have the ascended CGR to cycle special 2s, there's a very, very good chance that the Ascended CGR just absolutely eclipses the uh, 6 aptitude rotation with the uh, non-Ascended CGR, even though that rotation is built for, you know, higher health pools and stuff like that, bigger damage. So, I don't know, uh, I do feel a pretty significant improvement, but it's not something like if you want to send CGR to get through Roma Legends faster, like, it might... You know, if I did a full run, let me know if you guys want to see, like, a full run comparison or something. Um, I'll probably make it anyway. <laughs> um, but if you guys, like, wanted to ascend CGR to get faster Realm of Legend kills and stuff, you might save maybe 20 seconds a whole run. Um, but the fights are all going to end the same way. They're going to end with the second special 2. You know, like, that's just how it's gonna go, at least with my mastery setup, right? And I think that is a good thing if you are an avid CGR user, because it doesn't only give CGR a bit more damage, it just gives him more reach. Like, it allows him to close out fights faster, go figure, but, like, in stuff like Battlegrounds, if you, you know, kill someone with your, with your special 2, as opposed to hitting them like once or twice after your special two, you save yourself like two to four seconds, right? And that's pretty big. <laughs> um, and there's also cases like if you want to take on bigger health pools, you can kind of get away with doing special two cycles a bit more now, you know, which is why I've ranked my CGR so high. Not just because I love the character, but because it just gives me more range. Like, I'm able to take on probably a million health now, just cycling special twos on Surging Vengeance and not even worry about it, you know? And I think that's really cool. So, I would say if you use CGR a lot, definitely do this. Um, otherwise, maybe hold off, use it on some other champions, like, you know, Hercules or something. Uh, but yeah, Ascension, I think it's really cool. I'm really excited to see all these, you know, comparisons and these stats and stuff, so yeah, let me know what you think, let me know if you're gonna send your CGR, let me know if you have any questions, I'd be totally cool with, you know, answering them in the comments and stuff, or you can join my Discord and hit me up in the description, um, and yeah, that'll be about it for me, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to press like, subscribe, all that stuff, and yeah, I hope you have an absolutely outstanding day. Take care and farewell.